The Trump administration is implementing restrictions on who can apply for asylum in this country. Officials say the new rule is designed to reduce the number of people from Central America who are eligible for asylum in the U.S. Here to talk about this is Travis County GOP Communications Director Andy Hogue and immigration attorney Pooja Sethi. Pooja, beginning with you, the ACLU has already said that they are going to challenge this rule. They say it's counter to U.S. law. Do you think they have a strong case? I think they absolutely have a strong case for three reasons. Uh, primarily, the ACLU is saying that the new administration, the new rules under the administration violate domestic law. Uh, when it violates domestic law, I mean, it can go, it's going to go back to the courts and it's going to get overturned very, very quickly as we see many of the rules get overturned. Second, it violates international law, which is a big deal because there's laws under the United Nations that are going to take place then they could potentially get sued. The United States could get sued in international courts if we start sending people back to countries where they could potentially get killed because of um, claims of torture and violence. Okay, you said there was a third reason as well? And the third reason, thank you, hmm. and the third reason is that the administration is just putting executive orders out there that are, are not thought well thought out, as well as Mexico and Guatemala have not agreed to go along with this plan. So bottom line, the ACLU has a very good claim to overturn these, these rules. Okay, Andy, what do you make of these new rules on asylum? Yeah, I think it's a great idea. I mean, how many times have we been told this is a humanitarian crisis? This is something worth the United Nations getting involved with, as if they have any authority over us, by the way. But uh, it seems to me that this, there've been um, um, immigrants have been finding a way to use asylum as a loophole to get into the country. And that's part of the problem. You can't catch and release a group of people seeking asylum, so they have to be temporarily detained. And since we've had uh, unprecedented numbers of people seeking asylum, we've had no choice but to put them in temporary detention areas, which the left have called concentration camps. But uh, it seems like this is a good way of saying, okay, we need to cut off the loophole. This is an emergency, and it's well within the president's powers to handle a national emergency, which this is. Okay. Um, Pooja, obviously there's a problem here. I mean, these centers down along the border are overwhelmed. What's the solution out there if, if instead of this uh, new asylum rules, what do you think would be a good solution to stop so many people in these overflowing refugees at the centers? It's, it's very simple. We need to go back to how things were. We need to stop putting people in detention camps for, for very long periods of time. The actual rule and the actual goal is that people come as they're meant to on a legal basis, request asylum because they have faced uh, religious persecution, gang violence, or are very scared for their lives. They talk to the officer, do a credible fear interview, and then get either a GPS tracking or um, put down their address and everything and then come into the country get their jobs, live their lives, and then go to immigration courts and go to their hearings and let a judge decide, as has been done very, very many times in the past. So this whole process of keeping people in detention centers for long periods of time is only under this current administration. It's only under the Flores policy. It is cruel. It is separating children away from their parents, and it is completely unnecessary. Andy, what do you say to, to that solution? Yeah, I agree with uh, most of what Pooh just said, but uh, let's face it, some of this happened in the Obama administration, some of it even happened during the Bush administration. It's a, a long-standing problem that needs to be addressed, so let's address it. The president is. We should be supporting him on this, not fighting him on it. Okay, well, no doubt it will be in the court soon, so there's more to come. We've got to wrap it up for now. Andy, Pooja, thank you both very much for thank coming you. by. You bet. Thank you so much.